just taken the gearbox out of our hot washing tank, which has helped soften off, softened up all the old oil and grease that was in the gearbox, which was stopping it from turning. And we're just cleaning it all off now so that we're now able to strip the gearbox um, to get it cleaned properly. So all the components have to come out. So we're going to start off with this unit here, which is the detent locking plungers. So when the selector forks move forwards and backwards, these little plungers locate it in place so it doesn't come out of gear. So all we need to do is lift that out of the housing and then get that gets that out of the way. The next thing we need to do is take all the uh, selector sliding rods out the way. So there's three rods that the selectors run on. So we're going to take all of those out. But before I do that, I'll take this little interlock um, device out so that you can only select one gear at a, at a time. So it's literally just undo the nut and uh, push the pin out. Might need a little persuading stick. And a little drift. If you'd like to grab that pin, Mike. There's a little washer in there we don't want to lose. You see the washer? Okay. Washer's there. Yeah. So that whole assembly should come out. Then you can put that nut and washer on, keep it all together. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is take those selector shafts out. So if you want to do that end, Michael, for me, you want to pull the pin out. We'll start off on the outer one. Now, inside here, there's a little spacer that goes up against the casing. If I point to that there, that will fall in as the shaft comes out, but we'll reclaim that. That's coming nicely. Right, so there's the shaft, that's that, that needs to go onto the end of there with the nut and washer and that shaft there carries the reverse gear selector. Right, the next one is the middle one, same construction, right, this one's got a little washer this end as well I think, see it? Yep. yep. Take that washer. That one, there's the cotton reel, there's, there's the, the nut. nut, so that'll be the first and second gear selector. All right, and now we'll take the top gear selector out. Yeah, you see all the glue that's still of the old oil is still holding onto the shaft and once we clean that off it'll be free so all of that comes off and then it'll slide in and out properly that's why we've got to strip it right out get rid of all that old oil and uh it'll be fine after that. So there's a washer in the case here that we've got to find. So now we've got all that lot. We know that it all slides properly as it should do because that was glued like that selector shaft. That gear's moving, that gear's moving. We can now rotate the gearbox. Once it's in neutral, that is. Constant mesh gears are working. Lay shafts turning, as is the main shaft. That's good. So now all we have to do is strip all the gears out of the gearbox and then we can clean it properly.
Okay, so today we're going to reassemble the gearbox. Now that we've stripped it out and we've cleaned all the components within the gearbox, checked all the bearings, we're now going to reassemble it. So to do that, we need to start at the bottom of the gearbox with the reverse gear and the reverse gear selectors. So we've got this part here, which is a pivot for the selector, which then has to go right down the bottom of the gearbox, right down in here. And that allows us to move the reverse gear in and out of mesh. So this is the reverse gear and it's got a selector on there, which is all now clean and free and mobile. So all we've got to do is fit that little pin into that hole down there. There we go, that's now in, and that allows us to move the, the gearbox backwards and forwards gear backwards and forwards. This is the pin that it <coughs> runs on. So So let's just give that a little tap in. It's all the way in. Then there's a washer, a nut, it's there. It's there. Okay. There's your pin. Bend it, but it won't move. I get a little tapping stick, I think. Okay, so the next part to go in is the counter shaft, lay shaft, which is this shaft here. So it's already got one bearing on that end. Just wash a bit of oil through that. Do you want that reverse selector? Uh, yes, perhaps we ought to do that first. That's free enough. Right, before we put that in though, we'll put in the selector shaft and the selector, which is this bit here, for the reverse gear. So that goes in the pin on the other end of that pivot rod. And that is this one. So we've got a nut, a washer, cotton reel spacer, and then that goes through that lot. Bit of oil on it, Phil, have we got any? All right, this little spacer goes in this end. Oh, hang on a sec. Okay, now through the uh, through the casing. That's it. As you like. Right now, the counter shaft. Some oil on that bearing there. Good. Now we'll put this one in here. It's 
good. Right, now we can put the shaft. Reverse gears in the way. That bearing can now sit on there. And then we put the other bearing in on the other end. We okay. Drift that one on. Straight-ish. Yeah, I think it... Go on. It's going. There you go. That's it. And now the, the bearing track for this end. So this one's got a little location peg on it. So we've got to make sure we get that exactly in line with that one there. So, again, we've just got to get it all lined up, make sure all the lines line up, which is about there. And then tap that in. Spot on there. That all turns. That's right. Making that noise. But... So we, that way we know it's clear. And then we want reverse. We select it for there. So that then turns that gear the opposite direction for when we want to go backwards. Because normally that would be running in that direction. Good. So that's that bit done. So the next thing we want second gear, or is it, uh, no, we want first gear, don't we? That all ends up sliding on there. Yeah, it? so we want that one to get that selector shaft through, don't we? Yeah. To get that one in there. Which is B, I think. That will be selector shaft B. So we've got this little shim that goes in once you've got your shaft in. That's now on. So let's put the input shaft in next. When it's in there. That's the input shaft. Yeah, and I'll hold that one. Okie dokie. Yeah. So that's in there. Spigot bearings in there as well. So that's yeah. that one. So good. Well, that's a good start. So now we want second gear. Drop that in. Should all go in. We've got the spacing shim this end as well. A bit of oil on there, I think. Okay. That's fine there. Right, now we need to get that little spacing washer in there, that's not going to be easy. That's it. And that's the nut washer for that one. So we know where it is. Right, so it's just the main shaft to go now, really. Yeah. Make sure there's plenty of oil all over that. Bit. 
Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. Start. That's it. It's getting there. Yeah. All right. Yep. It's coming just to help it a little bit. Let's put a bit of heat on that casing. Okay, give it a little tap. So, we're in between gears. So, we need to bring that one forward. No, bring, bring, this, bring the first gear forward. Forward. If it will go, yeah, that way. Oh, yeah, right, hold it there. So that's neutral there. That All of that lot. So that one moves easy. Yeah. So that's Hopefully it's somewhere around the foil that. Well that is turned that. So that's the input shaft, that's the output shaft, and we've got a neutral. So yeah. that second gear. Is that that's top gear that one isn't it yeah yeah that's first gear that bottom one and second isn't it yeah it's reversed it's on its own yeah there you go one's still touching somewhere but we can it's, fit it, oh, that's the there. constant mesh gears constant mesh, isn't yeah it? so they're making a bit of a din but once it's full of oil, it'll quiet them down. Yeah. So, basically, it's there. Okay. So all we've got to do is get them in there without dropping them. Try it. Yeah. Yeah, that's there. Yeah, well that's I'd go one way depending on where the gear yeah. lever is, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's put that nut and washer on there so we don't lose that. 
think we can do that up too tight. Well, depends where neutral is exactly, doesn't it? Yeah. Actually. Okay. So, if we get the outer casing, Phil, put that in there. Yeah, straight down on the, we should be all right on those screws on there, I think. Well, it's not far out right there. No. Think. Well, that's down in there. Okay, so what we've got there is reverse. That's it. Yeah. That's got reverse. That's anyway, it, first. that's first. All right, so forward should be, all right, okay. Well, yeah, that's, that's using the lay shaft. Second. Second. And, and that come up there this top. top. So yeah. I think by the time we've bolted it down and adjusted everything, I think that'll be fine. If you put it in that way, it's wrong, yeah. Yeah. Got to line it up before I... Drop it down, yeah. Yeah. So you see these sprung loaded pointers here, they locate the gear and stop it from sliding backwards and forwards once you're into gear. Is that like zero? Zero. Two. A, is it a two? Yeah, That's two. a number one there, isn't it? Right, I reckon if we put that top cover back on again, we'll just put some oil on those uh, selector shafts. There's a little tray here that collects oil. Yeah. When the gearbox is running, and that helps. Okay. I want that somewhere around there, I think. Around there. Some oil in there. We can't see what I'm doing. No, so. there's nothing much stain there. I've right. been oiled. Okay. That's it. Dropping in. Ain't moved it there. It's so not I could have moved. Well, that's sliding in between, but it's still not down that side properly, is it? No. So we need to tap that down a bit more. That's it. Oh, if you just rock it backwards and forwards now, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Got that bit now, anyway. We have. And well, that won't be one. Just long. rock it backwards and forwards, Phil. That's much better. Right. So that proves that the reverse is working. Good. And the interlock is working there. So you can't select first, second or third. Yeah. I will try to come back to... Yeah, come back to neutral. That's it. That should now... And we've got nothing again. 
Yes. That's good.